finally, the video we've been waiting for. Ooh, I'm ready to watch. Grams is sending out cease and desist letters to reactors. Another reactor, OG Wise, is also sending out cease and desist letters, which is the dumbest thing ever. We've heard from King's Corner, but we've been waiting to hear from Nick and Carla now. They move different, okay? They think before they speak, so I knew something was brewing. I really didn't know what. You know, I had my little speculations here and there, but, but those were all just speculations. We're gonna actually know what's been happening. So Nick and Carla posted a video called Grams Youngin sent us a cease and desist letter. Oh shit, let's hear it. Y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. What's up, beautiful people? How are you doing? First and foremost, I'm good, I'm where good. y'all been? <laughs> they waiting, on you? Hell, yeah, I'll be. waiting on you waiting on you girl up, yes yes it feels <laughs> good to be back um we really want to get back into doing the reactions however uh -oh. we have to address the elephant in the room uh with this whole cease and desist it's kind of where we left off after we did the interview with ari which if you haven't seen that interview <laughs> definitely go and check it out the interview was crazy um, but yes uh grams youngin she did send us a cease and desist Yes, only her. Oh. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> okay, so OG Wise didn't send you guys one. Okay, so OG just sent one to King's Corner, but not to y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Question answered. Got it. That I think I want to go ahead and put this out there now. Just put it out there on record that this is our first time ever receiving a cease and desist. Ever. And, and, ever. And, um, and y'all had to get it from someone who is broke who cannot afford an attorney. <laughs> you guys, I really don't know Graham's financial situation. I really don't. We're just all assuming that she's broke because she leeches off of people. Most of the time, women she dates, women she's in relationships with. But y'all, she might have some money. Who knows? But most likely not. And the reason why we were saying that is because we have a mush mouth out there that's saying that someone else sent us a cease and desist. No, this is the first one we sent, and you are probably the one to put the batter in her back. And the reason I say that is based off of how unprofessional it is. Okay. Uh, examples is the incorrect date, the yeah. date. Hold on, y'all are going to actually show us? Hold on. <laughs> I'm excited. I like this type of shit, y'all. It's dated January 13th, 2023. Honey, we are in the year 2024. That video that oh, you referred to hell was no. uploaded. <laughs> Can't even get the date right. Oh, that's how you know it's unprofessional. Ooh, child. In 2024, January 2024. <laughs> terrible. Terrible. Also, uh, based off the terminology that was used in it, like... Um, Incomplete sentences. Incomplete <laughs> sentences, which, uh, you know, uh, the reason we say this is because shout out to King's Corner. Matter of fact, shout out to the reactors, period. King's Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I, I, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I'm still stuck with the grammar. Okay, listen. Grams is a different type of human. Okay, we all know that she, she's a little different, but you would think that she would get someone who knows English, that can read and write English, and have them proofread her shit before she sent it out. Girl, if you were trying to scare somebody, make it look professional. They have chat GPT. Why didn't you use that? That would have helped you a lot more. Oh my God, I cannot. Okay, so what about these reactors, Nick and Carla? No, bliss. Hey, y'all was holding it down while we was chilling. Oh, we were trying, we were trying out here in these streets. <laughs> and uh, King's these YouTube Corner, streets. she mentioned that she got a cease and desist as well. Ironically, they both have the same incorrect date january 2023 so we was like okay they must have worked together to yeah. uh send these very unprofessional <laughs> cease and desist out uh one of them claimed that a paralegal typed it up for him which is a lie well it, if it's a lie or not maybe you need to fire that paralegal <laughs> and maybe get uh an attorney Yo, like oh this is funny as hell <laughs> um but then yes and they also both use the same terminology like uh what did it say it says um, you're being very, where is it? Oh, this, this behavior is childish and immature. What professional right. is going to use that type of terminology? When we got our attorney to type ours up, we could barely understand some of the words. Hold on. Y'all got an attorney to type something up? What y'all type up? 
And when did this happen? Did this just happen recently, you know? Was something set into grams? Look at my brain's already going. It's already going. That they were using. <laughs> and y'all, don't get us wrong. Anybody can actually type up yes. mm -hmm. a cease and desist. Anybody yeah. can type. You don't need an attorney to do that. But it's just better when an attorney gets involved because it makes it more professional, makes it more scarier <laughs> legally to the person you're sending it to. But more don't serious. lie and be like, oh, I got a paralegal to do it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. If you did, I don't know. Shame on them yeah. and shame on you. Shame on them for typing it up like this and having incorrect information on here. And shame on you for not reviewing it to say, hey, this information is incorrect and this sentence is incomplete. Can you please correct this? Yeah, so uh, also um, on this cease and desist, uh, they... Uh, requested so usually on a cease and desist letter which again anyone can send a cease and desist letter um there's usually a request for you to respond so that's really the only reason we responded because again if she would have never sent us a cease and desist we wouldn't have responded uh so we did um because it says i demand your immediate compliance and furthermore that you confirm in writing that all volatile activity cease in immediately first and foremost when you say volatile uh volatile activity what the fuck is volatile <laughs> about calling you out what the fuck is ways? that calling out toxicity calling out shit that is not right that's not volatile that's not bashing that's not right. being a hater it's not harassment it's, it's not, not intimidation it's simply doing what we do on our platform which is let people know when things don't look right and how things should be handled. Because we have a lot of people, believe it or not, they go through similar things. They may have friends, family that's going through this type of stuff, or they were in this situation before and wonder if they handled it correctly. And also calling this stuff out, it keeps them from running into this stuff in the future. Right. If you really think about it, all we're simply doing is reacting to the bullshit that's that you it are putting on the internet that's it yeah. you don't want people to you know this goes to anybody not just an influencer not just youtubers not just uh, instagram models not you don't have to be someone who is known it can be sarah from the suburbs she's on facebook nobody really knows about her but she's gonna post something about her wife and how she's upset with her the second you post that and people start commenting on that that is your fault sarah for posting it because now you're giving everyone the opportunity to give an opinion if you want your life private then don't post anything publicly it's that simple that's what people don't understand but if you're going to be an influencer slash youtuber expect this type of responses expect these type of reactions blame yourself girl talk about you just keep doing those fake ass inspirational videos that you, do. <laughs> you know just Facts. keep doing that mush mouth talking shit that you do notice we don't react to you when you do those type of videos right. yeah because we don't care right but when you react knows when we do react to grams what is it about is her doing fuck shit is her trying to expose somebody. because it's, it's entertaining about stuff it's her conjuring up uh, drama and stuff. That's yeah. what we react to. If you look at it, it said we were consistently reacting to her for the last three years. We only reacted to about a good five plus, less than ten videos of, of hers. Now, was it re us? But because Grams has lots of drama in her life, and that's the type of shit us reactors like to watch and enjoy, including the viewers. Grams, your own supporters like watching the drama. <laughs> and the last few videos you've been posting. I skimmed through them and I'm like, girl, what is you talking about? You out here trying to inspire people and shit. It's all phony. That's why I don't react to those type of videos neither. I just started reacting to the bitch. Wherever there's something spicy or some something dramatic that, that happens, then yes, I'm down. But all this, like they said, this fake inspirational shit, take that somewhere else, girl, because that ain't happening here. To stuff and it had something to do with you because you always are doing the most. Yeah. Yes, but directly to your content, no yeah but even the um the content that's listed on this cease and desist um that was our interview it was somebody who reached out to us now again was it somebody that had dealings with you yes but at the end of the day that was not your content and we can give our commentary 
and speak on whatever we need to speak yeah. on. Because that was Ari's story. Ari has the right to tell her story. Everyone's got their own perspective. Grams, if you want to tell your story, tell it. But who are you to stop anyone else from telling theirs? And Ari chose Nick and Carlos platform to tell it. She's allowed to do that. So we were accused of like defamation of character. That's the that's what the the cease and desist was about. Us um, defamation first and foremost. That's when you put out public information. I was gonna say that you deem as fact, and you're claiming it that it's true, but it's actually false information about someone. You mean like the fact that. Tay sent us a cease and desist. Yeah, like somebody like that's somebody saying up, that. Not what? only sitting up Tay. on their channel saying something like that, like, oh, what about when so and so sent them a cease and desist? Glamazante? Who are they talking about? Who's Tay? That's false information because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. As a matter <laughs> of fact, <laughs> she a Pisces. <laughs> she a Pisces. You saw our eyes tells it all y'all when you get us to that point you'll see how serious we are right in the eyes tay is not the only content creator that we've reacted to in the past where we had a conversation with them behind the scene and removed their shit from our catalog exactly. oh for Do real? your fucking homework yeah. So I didn't even know about that, that is an example of defamation or you know saying some bogus stuff about us that's not true or like what we involved in a case yeah or saying that we're involved in a case with minors yes we are referring to some other situations some other shit that's going on uh dealing with the mush mouth now that's defamation that's that that's an example of what? defamation of character mm -hmm. but what is um, happening? it's like grounds i really think wait <laughs> You guys, don't just, you know, give us a little taste and not tell us all of it. Oh, hell no. Okay, so I'm guessing you guys hired an attorney about that situation, not the defamation thing. She said something about, about minors and stuff? What just happened? Rather than trying to focus on this external shit, being mad at everybody else, and listening to that bozo over there that's putting this batter in your back and you doing dumb shit and you <laughs> really don't even know what the fuck you're doing, <laughs> I recommend oh, going wise. inside and working on yourself i recommend getting a therapist yes yes i said that clearly she don't know how to sit back and like self-evaluate yeah so i really think that she needs someone to help her and yep. and that's you guys narcissists can still work on themselves people think that just because you're a narcissist there's nothing you can do that's who they are and that's what it is and that's how what and that's what they'll always be no you guys they can work on certain things narcissists also can be aware that they're narcissists does grams finally admit to the fact that she is i don't know maybe not but when she gets to that point therapy will help it can help her notice certain things when she's doing them and then try to redirect it in a positive way she can seek help if she chooses to really like honestly coming from my heart just looking at the stuff that you're doing and the people that have been in therapy we know the relief you know how it just get some of the burdens off of you how it will allow you to maneuver in the world differently and that my dear is what you need mm -hmm. yeah so uh again when they send you a cease and desist a lot of the time they ask you to respond to it we responded we sent a counter uh not only Ooh. did we counter the cease and desist okay. our attorney you know typed up our whole amendment uh, as far as our freedom of speech amendment and um uh the fair use he typed all that stuff. yo i can't help it i'm excited okay I knew something was happening. I knew something was brewing. I knew they sent something back. What their counter is, I don't know yet, but we're gonna find out, I think, we'll see. There, but then also we sent the counter threatening to sue because again, whoever putting that battery in your back, they're gonna really get, end up messing you up based off some of the things you did in the cease and desist that I won't mention, but you're putting yourself at risk for why? Why? I feel like it's a fucking waste to say it. Two hundred over two hundred thousand dollars when we would probably never see that from her. She'll probably file bankruptcy. Damn, two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> but anyways, Fuck. um, we sent it uh, via email and we tracked it, um, just to you know, so we can have proof that we not only sent it but she opened it. But I didn't feel, I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel confident on it, on that. So I did see the tracker. It says she read it. Of course, we didn't get a response, even though we had the decency to respond to you. Mm -hmm. So I also served it to our door, her front door. Oh, and not only that, we also shit. got a picture. The guy sent a picture 
of proof that she got the paper in her hand. And what did she say? I already received the email. Well, if you received the email, why you didn't respond to it? Oh, damn. So it's like, I don't think things need to escalate and go that route. Oh, damn. We don't have to do that because at the end of the day, again, we're just reacting. We're reacting to your bullshit. Like, Grams, you are dumb as hell. Look at the situation you put yourself in. Listening to an OG. <laughs> just because you was an OG doesn't mean you was an OG in the YouTube streets. Girl, listen, just because someone is older doesn't mean they know what the fuck they're talking about. Okay, they may sound confident, but they're not. And now you out here making dumb decisions, trying to scare people. And look what happened. So I was right, guys. I was right. They did bring it back at her. The details on it, obviously, we all don't know yet. Something about minors in that letter. We don't know what that is exactly. But something like that, I hope they don't talk about it in detail because let the courts deal with that shit. You don't want other people getting involved in that. Take care of business. But, I mean, Grams, that's what the fuck you get. You see, y'all? You see? Try coming for us reactors. We're going to get you back. It just is what it is. I was waiting for something to be sent to me. Nothing was sent to me because I will hire an attorney too. I got the funds. I'm a little educated and I'm big on freedom of speech. I knew Nick and Carla was going to move smart. So stop putting bullshit out there. Yeah. You can't shut people up. You think you can sit up. You and the bozo. <laughs> y'all think y'all can sit up, talk all this shit about everything that's going on. As a matter of fact, I think it's ironic. That right when that interview, when Ari showed up, because again, we didn't go looking for Ari. Mm -hmm. She showed up to us. But right when it happened, the day before that, you d ended up trying to do the same thing to your ex. The exact same thing. You got mm -hmm. online with some girl, did an interview to expose what Avery was doing. And little did you know, Ari was working her way up linking with us. Damn, that's so I'm crazy saying. shit. I didn't shit. know about that. Would y'all want to get mad at the shade room? Can celebrities? I know celebrities be mad at the shade room, but, but what do, what do the shade do. room do? <laughs> they post the bullshit that the celebrities put online. Mm -hmm. Y'all doing the same shit. You can't shut us mm -hmm. up. No. <laughs> I man, when me and Carla saw it, we I we laughed. <laughs> um, I would have too, but also got a little irritated. Yeah. Um, that's why we just did what we needed to do to uh respond to it and just handle it business wise i say grams do the work like work, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to see what your future look like look at the bozo again <laughs> she's older than you she's about 50 years old most likely based off the shit that we found if you want to see what you're gonna look like you're gonna be uh, a 50 year old lady chasing after a woman with kids damn. um getting your clothes bleached break it up with her getting back with oh her, yeah um uh, not taking accountability looking beat up in the fucking face because you stress that's how you're gonna be looking if you don't take <laughs> care of yourself like do the work me and carla i kind of wish i knew more about og wise but that sounds very descriptive I, i'm gonna take your word for it girl <laughs> I don't know OG's situation and her story, no nothing. I've never seen one of her videos at all. We had to go through our own journey of healing and growing. And because we did that, we know what the shit look like when it ain't right. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to do this shit on your own. You're going to need professional help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just want to speak to, you know, people trying to talk about our character. If Nick and I was out here doing things that was not right y'all do y'all think our life would look as beautiful as it looked you know y'all have seen us you know like come from being in our rv to where we are now our life is beautiful and, which and, that was by choice as well yeah making those sacrifices yes. to grow something else but then the other thing is i don't understand when people say we are hating hating on what what is it that you're showing that we want right you're not showing us anything we have we have the relationship that y'all want you know hating is being jealous or envious of someone so they have to have things that the other person would want really look at the situation and everyone's happiness is different for me being single is creating my happiness for others, being in a relationship is creating their happiness. By the end of the day, Nick and Carla are happy. So what about Grams do they not have? 
<laughs> that's like the dumbest thing ever. We have the life probably that y'all want. It's like that's why the one person is so fascinated with us and watch everything that we do. But what everything. are we hating on? I it's like that's neither more, one of you all are showing anything for somebody to hate on you. I think that's more, again, I always say this. I can't diagnose anyone because I'm not a doctor or anything like that. But just from reading some of the characteristics of narcissists, I just think that's what they do. Notice they try to take it, flip it, like everything that they say. If you want to hear a narcissist confess, listen to what they say. Mm-hmm. Notice everything they accuse us of. It's like they're doing the same shit. Yeah. Right. And, and they victimize you're themselves. And creating fake accounts and, and trying to do it from fake accounts, it don't mean you're not still doing it. It don't mean people ain't got a way to track you. I find it real interesting. When King's Corner took the time to create those videos, blasting those fake anonymous accounts, the real person left a comment. With a real and when, slim shade. And when someone from our Discord, <laughs> shout out to Mia, said that you can figure out how all those IP addresses are attached to one place, not only did they say, oh, I'm about to delete my account. Not only did that account, I mean, delete my uh, my comments. Not only did that comment got deleted off of uh, King's Damn. Corner video, but also the fake account uh, comments got deleted off the video. Mm. It's just real interesting. Just because you moving around in the shadows, doing all your fuck shit in the shadows, don't mean that nobody can't see what you're doing. Mm. Hello, mother. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, I think that's all we had to say. Um, hopefully we can go ahead and get to the reactions. I mean, it's a few little things that's going on on the Internet. I want to thank you all so much for being patient with us. Yes. Also, if you're not following us, follow us on Instagram at Nick and Carla. That's how you can keep up with us as well as our vlog channel. We upload every Sunday. Um, so just check us out. Nick and Carla vlogs. And y'all, I know y'all see me. <laughs> I know y'all see the growth. Get to it. Okay, baby. I'm trying to see when I'm about to sweat that out. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Thank y'all for tuning in. Peace. And that's how it's done. So YouTubers, if you're going to be about that YouTube life, (laughs) just be ready for that counteraction because some of us take pride in having a voice yeah tell me what you thought about this video i mean i was mostly right maybe not in detail but mostly right comment below let me know what y'all thought and i will see you in the next video peace